Hello nerds and nerdettes, welcome back to the channel where once again we have a new review for you guys. Not on a super recent release, but something that was somewhat recently released, which is none other than Murder Falcon by Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer. Um, you're going to have art and writing by Daniel Warren Johnson, and I believe just the colors by Mike Spicer. Uh, correct me down below. But before we get into any more details, quick reminder that if you're looking for this book or any of the other books that I've featured on my channel, to use the channel sponsor, Organic Price Books, Dot com. Use the discount code stay nerdy for $2 off your order and also to help support the channel. I would forever be thankful for that. I really appreciate that. Um, every little bit helps. But without further ado, let's get into the book. So this does have a cover price of $30 and it does have a page count of 272 pages. This is probably one of my top reads of this year because it completely knocked my socks off. Um, but we will talk, obviously, a little bit about that once we go into the overhead shots, which we can head to now. And here we are, Murder Falcon by Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer, the deluxe edition. Um, I have heard some of us have some issues kind of knowing what this title's called because of how much Falcon is covered up by the cover art. So a lot of people I've come across think this is just called Murder because that's really the only thing they see. But it is called Murder Falcon. And like I said, Daniel Warren Johnson and Mike Spicer on it. Um, we do have a beautiful spine as well as a beautiful cover. Um, the only issue with the spine I kind of have are these orange tips here. For whatever reason, that makes me think of Nickelodeon. I have no clue why. Um, and then on the back, we have even more beautiful um, art on the back, as well as a little insert about Daniel Warren Johnson and the title itself. Um, not much more to talk about other than kind of the glossy title there, but we can get right into the book itself. So we do have some almost white noisy looking end pages, kind of a decent touch there. And then we have a um, title page there with some music strings. I'm also not a music connoisseur, so um, probably a lot of this book did go over my head. If you are a music connoisseur, you're probably going to love this book that much more. But getting right into it, uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, artist and writer, he did do the co-lettering on issues one through three, Mike Spicer, the colorist, Russ Wooden, letterer, um, an amazing team all in all. And then we do have a little insert about, or um, kind of referencing music and its importance by Daniel Warren Johnson. I feel like he has an insert like this in a lot of books that he's written, which is also a very nice touch. And then we get right into the first issue, um, probably noticing immediately how beautiful and amazing the art is. I know this looks very exposition heavy, which it, I guess it somewhat is initially because of all the paneling and grids here, but it is not that heavy or exposition heavy of a story. It's fairly simplistic. Um, it definitely lets the art talk, which here we are immediately into some action scenes here. The introduction Production of Murph or Merv, um, the Murder Falcon, pretty much, which is absolutely such a kick ass jump to the, into the story. Um, there will be a large amount of the story that I'm going to be avoiding. I'm really just showing off the art here and not going too in depth into the story um, because there is a fairly decent twist and heartfelt twist at the end that I 100% do not want to give away. Um, Getting right into chapter two, um, not super heavy on story, like I said, but the, I guess, somewhat synopsis of the story is that monsters are coming from a dark dimension and users of music, musicians, um, legendary musicians have the ability to summon monsters of their own from the metal um, to fight these Dark Dimension Monsters, if you will, if that makes sense. Um, I read this quite a while ago, um, so there's definitely certain aspects that are not fresh in my mind, but um, one part of this book that I definitely enjoy is it gives me kind of Pokemon vibes in a weird way. Um, you, each musician you kind of meet throughout the story has their own monster, their own 
character that they can summon through the power of music, which is absolutely super kick-ass, so awesome. Um, very interesting story overall, which again, just very much trying to uh, tread lightly here. Um, a lot of very relatable stories pertaining to some of the characters. Um, for example, the scene here, having a father that is terminally ill, very touching and relatable stories for a lot of people, probably in this community, in the world, whatever it may be. And you definitely feel the heartfeltness of the um, book here um, and the story. Um, trying to tread carefully here, like I said, pertaining to the spoilers at the end. Um, definitely the highlight is not only the character Jake's story, but the art, his relationship with Murder Falcon. It is a bromance for the ages. It um, creates a lot of emotion, a lot of compassion. It it's cool, um, especially the way they kind of play off one another during these action sequences. Um, and then really, that's as much as I'm going to want to get into the story. It is a very music-heavy, music-inspired story and also has just so much just love and compassion and humanity throughout its pages. I cannot recommend the story enough. Um, yet another one that I went into pretty much blind and had fairly high expectations because I love Daniel Warren Johnson as a writer and a artist, and it superseded my expectations. Definitely was um, a lot of the story or aspect of the story that just completely knocked my socks off. Um, this is another book where I typically don't enjoy extras, but Daniel Warren Johnson and his illustrating process is so interesting to me because of the panels that he's able to capture. Um, and you get sketches in here, you get virgin sketches, you get um, character designs and very similar to the fast pacedness of his action scenes and his stories. His sketchbook seems to be the exact same, just sketches all over the place, um, just really rushing to get, um, or it feels like he's rushing to get a story composed, and then a story just literally pops out of nowhere. Here's probably my favorite panel that's in the book itself. These are obviously the inks, but it is in the book as well, with full colors by uh, Mike Spicer. So, absolutely amazing book. Um, you got action sequences, kick-ass scenes, big guns, big muscles, fast-paced action, swords, kaiju, uh, mechs. I mean, you name it, it's in the book. Um, he's definitely a fan of the craft of comic books and storytelling, and he loves to tell the story or stories involving things that he loves. So definitely recommend this, guys. Um, beautiful end page, just the family jamming out. Um, definitely check this out. Um, very relatable for a lot of us in the community and uh, can't recommend it enough, but we'll head back to the table for some closing thoughts. Hello and welcome back. So as you guys can definitely tell, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my reading experience of this title. Daniel Warren Johnson easily becoming a household name for a lot of members in the community pertaining to not just his absolutely incredible and dynamic art style, but also his writing. Um, often titles that he does do the writing for are absolutely beyond heartfelt and you can just feel the, the pages oozing with the passion that he has for the story. Um, definitely quickly entering into my top five creators in the community just because of the passion and heart that he really puts into not just his art panels but his stories overall seems like he has a fairly good working relationship with mike spicer um i feel like they've worked together on like three books now and you can definitely feel that it's always awesome to see a team become almost symbiotic in a way where you can not even imagine daniel warren johnson's art not being colored by mike spicer so um, definitely super cool to see that. 
Um, this story ha is full of humanity and lessons that you can really take away during your reading experience. Had a super awesome, I won't, I won't say super awesome because it was a little dark, but a very unexpected twist at the end, which again just really shows how fragile humanity really is and how everyone kind of has a story that they're going through, whether it be a happy story, sob story, whatever it may be, everybody does have their story and something that they're going through, their own battles in life, which is extremely interesting. It also has a nice dialogue of the importance of family and friends, which you definitely feel throughout the pages, definitely makes you become extremely thankful for the people that you have in your life, especially those of us that are going through very trying times and actually have people in our corner. Um, there's also, obviously, as you would expect, based off the cover and the inclusion of just so much music references, the importance of music as well. Um, I feel like Daniel Warren Johnson has been very transparent about his love for wrestling, baseball, um, music, whatever it may be, and he definitely incorporates those into his story, especially this one. Um, they definitely make sure to power home the importance of music, and you definitely feel that through its pages. Um, but absolutely a breathtaking book from the art to the writing style to the um, how much you can relate with the characters in the story, as well as just how kick-ass and cool the story is in general. Um, overall, I am going to give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. I think it was borderline perfect for my reading taste, and um, I definitely didn't expect it to be as strong as it was, and jumping into it, reading it, and just really just falling in love with the story, the emotion, the action, the fast pacedness of the entire story. It was definitely my cup of tea, and I highly, highly implore you guys to check it out if you haven't already. But that does wrap up today's video and review overview. Um, not 100% sure what I'm calling these yet, um, but feel free to comment down below about Murder Falcon or really any title in general that you'd like to see me cover or talk about. I'm always open to whatever you guys as the viewers would like to see from the channel. But if you guys have an opinion on Murder Falcon as well, I would love to hear that because I'm always curious where we stand as a community on these books that are presented. Whether it's good or bad, I always want to hear from you guys. But of course, quick reminder that if you are not a part of the community, hit that subscribe button to join the community. It is quickly becoming such an amazing and just open place, which I am very thankful for. And also, if you could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up icon, we are trying to get the channel to 1K subscribers. That's the next milestone. Hitting that thumbs up button and also commenting will help us in the algorithm. So I'd be extremely thankful for that. And also, if you did enjoy today's video or any of my other videos, of course, hit that bell icon. That way you can get notified anytime I put out content. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you those of you that tune in every week to my videos, reviews, top fives, top tens, whatever it may be. And um, also just stay nerdy.